Okay. That thing doesn't look like it's uh, locked down by the time. By the founder. <sighs> it's just as I thought. Jill. Does this ether not feel somehow... Familiar, yes. I sensed it the moment we arrived, though I wasn't sure until now. You can feel it too, can't you, Clive? She's calling us. She you don't mean the witch? I do. Though she was more than that. Much more. She was a dominant. A dominant who once commanded the icon that now resides in both me and Clive. Of course. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see it. Who else would have the power to freeze time? None other than Shiva herself. But for her ether to endure after all these years, it, it's almost as if... Oh as my if god. She shared it with another, just as Torgal shared in my ice. Oh, damn. So we're essentially fighting like a Fenrir, companion. A, a, her companion. Though something tells me he's not as friendly as us. Ooh. Our ancestors never warned us about this. He wasn't left here for them. Oh. I doubt they even knew it existed. Cops. All yours, Torgal. Timekeeper, huh? What a name. He's fast. Uh-oh. <laughs> I did not get out of that in time. I don't think I'm going to get it in time. Well, I mean, maybe if I parry. Oh, you can't. I don't think you can parry that one, though. Damn. There we go. I don't know if I'm getting two point oh. No. Oh, I switched off. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be much damage. Oh.
I forgot to turn the music back down, it's really loud. <laughs> oh, he's a dancer. He's a dragoon. Uh, that was a cool one. Oh, get out of that. Oh no, oh, oh. This one's got some cool moves. I block I blocked some of that. <laughs> Too slow. Oh, too late. Jesus. That one. No, that. Oh. <laughs> Shit. It's kind of fun. Now, okay, there we go. I, I didn't dodge. <laughs> I hit the mic with that one. Oh, get out of it! Oh no, it doesn't do anything. Come on. Sir, you need to be staggered. You're like an inch from it. There we go. Alright, I need to get the full diamond dust. One. Two. I was only two. I'm gonna get a burning blade and dredgement. And maybe this? Oh, wrong button. I wanted to back up and do that. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, uh, are you going backwards from where you started? No. It's just really fancy. Oh no, I'm stuck on the edge. Woo! That was awesome. It's getting angry if 
by the moment. Then we better cut this short. Okay, I'm just going to hit you with everything now. You're not here. Thanks, boy. <laughs> Why don't I do three sometimes on that? I'm always confused on that. What the? Uh oh, final oath. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't block that one. He's gone. Woo! Oh, oh my god. Almost died. Ah, I went and stood in the last one. It's fine. It's fine. All right, we need to kill you now. Tell you. This thing's very mobile. I think Leviathan is kind of recommended for this. Just keep hitting him. There we go. Just hit him with all that. It's going to be a very abrupt ending. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that was a really cool boss. And its moves kept kind of changing towards the end there. It, it, I don't remember seeing like the same exact thing. Back to back. Damn. Guard brace. Heart of iron beats alone. Through solemn oath, our sins atoned. Northern nursery rhyme. Oh. Both slightly increases duration of the frostbite ice trail and extending the input window for permafrost. Interesting. That one's kind of fun to use, so. That's a good one. It might have been one of the most interesting normal bosses. Now let's destroy it. And put an end to this. Wait. The spell must be weakened, not undone. Uh, isn't that what we came here for? Did you ever stop to wonder what might happen to the tidal surge if I unraveled the whole spell at once? I didn't think so. This is going to require a bit more finesse. From wind and light, water and earth, let the silent pall of mine ice lift. There's too much ether. Let me help. Let us help. Is that Undertale? Almost. Did it work? 
work? I think so. The thread connecting this place to the child should be broken. Meaning Walias should finally be... Uh-oh. <laughs> Free once more. Leviathan, our most profaned fragment. Its divinity defiled by the hand of man. Its spirit shackled by his hubris. Till Muthos came, bringing release. Now, let the sins of man be redeemed. By the hand of the servant of God. Oh God. I kind of forgot he could still interfere. Damn it. Oh. It's happening. Isn't it? It is. What is? What's going on? Precisely what we feared. Leviathan is out of control. No. Don't despair. This isn't over yet. You should head back to the village and get everyone to higher ground. As for the rest. God. Oh no! You're locking me into this? It's creature and its creator awoken. The surge howls in anguish as the maelstrom at its heart moves to swallow the world. I forgot this is just a DLC and there isn't. <laughs> is probably potentially the end of it, more than likely. I don't know. We'll see. Alright. Well, let's see. I'm excited to get to actually do an icon fight again now. The only real fight you have to compete with is Bahamut because the other fight was visually crazy, but we didn't do anything super crazy at the end. Odin, we didn't have a fight. What are they going to do here? After 80 years of imprisonment, I'd be angry too. But I can't let it end like this, Wallius. It's time for you to come home. Oh. Good atmosphere. Interesting. Interesting theme that definitely has notes of the uh, 16 theme in it. Uh, I do have to... <laughs> before I forget. Whoops. I forgot to turn you back down to 80 like I had it before. I still want to keep it loud. It's just... It's a little too loud. Hi! Oh, I'm alone. Damn. I'm out of range. Oh, oh my god, I staggered them. Oh my god, I staggered that one. I forgot to move up, though. Okay. Oh my! Torgal's not here. I'm so used to just hitting random sick buttons with Torgal to try to time it. Are you kidding me? Um, 
It was it was just a strength tonic. It's fine. Um, what I do want to do. No, uh, add to shortcut. I'm gonna put an elixir on there, just just in case. We're kind of running out of potions at the moment. <clears throat> Eddie? No holding back. Alright, don't touch the directional path. It's fine. Insta broke. Damn. Right, right. I heard you the first time. Jesus. We're gonna go down now. I'm not here to hurt you, Wallius! <laughs> Fuck. That was too close. This is giving me the oh, this the vibes I haven't felt Enough! since Garuda. I don't think they can actually hit me. Come on then. No more hiding. Come on. I hope you're massive. You have to be a massive, massive dragon. <laughs> this isn't what I wanted. I only hope you can forgive me. Oh. Classic icon theme. Can't even see what's going on. Wait, I just realized something. Oh shit. Yeah, what button is it? Square? Okay. Whew. Final Fantasy difficulty. I don't know the buttons.
You're going up? I'm moving up. Okay. 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 You still you still have your dodge. I can't. It's been so long. All right. That's your shield. And you have like a one, two, three magic burst. Wait, wildfire. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, I got a shot off. How big is this tornado? Kind of looks like it's endless. Uh oh. This is not good. Hey, I got three hits in there. And then we'll do this. Oh, it's gone. Grand fall. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, did I even dodge that? I got Can I just stay over here? Is it just Okay. You know what? This isn't so hard. Th this part's gonna suck though. Now there. Maybe I can break it so I don't have to waste my move. Shit. Now, break it. Oh no! I gotta break it. Come on. You're kidding me. Oh, I have to sit through this again. There we go. All I wanted to do is split flare right out of the gates in this. Get that stagger up. And then, oh, I screwed that up bad. Oops. What? Oh, that was bad. It's a little choppy, surprisingly. Huh? What is this? I can't before the storm.
Are we in, uh... Oh! <laughs> We're in that other space. That hurt. That hurt. Okay. Wildfire. There we go. Ow. You have to hold O to get out of that. I missed. Oh god. That was my last heal. Oh god, <laughs> just barely. No? I should be using these way more often. Why am I not doing that? This is this is my fault. Oof. Be in that. No. Okay, okay, I don't know how to get out of that one. I think I might have to jump and then wildfire. Shit, that was stupid. <laughs> Was abrupt. He's just, just like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> no fate or anything. Alright, I want to see where it lands me. I'll probably skip a little. Uh, this is absolutely hard. Okay, I have an idea. I can waste that if I have to. I got that. Okay, I'd just get out. Yeah, I think I could probably do this like eight or nine times before I stagger it, so if I do that. There we go. Ah, only two hits. Shit. Where'd you go? Okay, jump? No. Now you have to you have to perfect dodge out of that one. I see. Oh, it's coming at me. 
No, nope, stops. Oh, oh, what was that? Okay, that was close. That's good stagger. I think it's almost awesome. Let's start with this. There we go. One, two, three. That's a lot of damage. There we go. You gonna switch up your moves now? Yeah. That was a that was a song and a half. I don't know if I can stop this. Uh-oh. How much time do I have? <laughs> it's not... It's not enough. Three, bam, bam. Oh no. I said stop. This has gone on long enough. <laughs> back up, back up. Oh. So one, two. Oh. <laughs> There's different magic bursts based on which what you when you use it in the combo, and I'm like I'm trying to remember them. Seas rise in five. Uh oh. Four? I don't know if I can do this. Three? Uh oh. Do I, what? Do I, do I just have to keep doing the fight, or am I dead? Uh oh. No, the village. I don't think I can dodge that. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh. That was just a DPS track. Uh, whatever I'm doing is not as effective. I'm doing one, two, three magic bursts and then getting up in the air and then dropping and doing a charge attack. That doesn't seem to be doing it because, like, I don't know what else I could do. So if you do one, two, three, four magic burst, that's a lot of damage. So close. Three. Oh my god, I screwed it up. Ah. 
One, two, three, four. Oh my god, it's like one hit away. One, two, and then Brimstone? I'm out of range. Oh no. If I wasn't out of range, that would have been it. Did I get it? I didn't get it. Oh, oh, dodge. One more. Now attack. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, okay. Jesus. Oh, that's not even the end. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, we're back in it? Okay. Okay. Thank God I haven't used anything yet. Oh my God. Oh, you missed? Ooh. I missed completely. Don't move, don't move. Okay, now you can. Um, no, oh God, save that. Oh, it's staggered. Never mind. Oh, that's not, that's not a lot of damage. Dashing away does not work there. 
You're starting me here? Oh, this is, this is cheap. This is cheap. L let's try this again. Maybe there's something I can do. I don't quite know what to do, but... At least the theme is badass. Garuda will be proud. Just keep. That's the edge of the arena. <laughs> oh, I lived. Okay. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Warriors. Warriors. <laughs> I said I wanted this game or I wanted uh how could they top it as far as like the the kind of icon this is very hard. Uh on Final Fantasy difficulty, uh, on none of the other ones were this hard. None of them. Like I did all of them one shot, no problem. Uh, but it has it has been a while since I played. But either way, my God, please, please tell me I got a checkpoint there for surviving that. Now, let's try again. Uh, there's got to be a way besides out healing this. Can I run around a circle like this? I hate that you can only go so far. Oh, I did it. Okay, it wasn't as bullshit as I thought. <laughs> okay, this one also. Dodge, dodge, and we're good. Oh, you're doing it again, I see. Oh, oh, I see. You're, you're, you're gonna keep doing it. What? Oh my! No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's fair. That's fair. It's doing everything twice as fast. With without telling you the name ahead of time. It's literally savage. There are no AOE indicators. <laughs> Get out of there. You calm down a bit, bud? Because I have no healing left. Oh no. Shit, I knew that was... Oh, you're so close to dead. Just... Please. Oh! Oh, no, we're back to this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Stay. Stay. Keep staying. What are you doing? Not this time. <sighs> oh no. I'm too far away. If that's 
Oh, 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 yeah, and I'm, I'm sure I have to spam square. <laughs> oh. You've had your fun, the violin. That was a good one. Good, good. Oh, that was a trophy. Beat, beat it in Leviathan. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. Defeat Leviathan in Final Fantasy mode. Uh, I have to say that was probably the most rewarding of the them all to, to fight. I never once felt challenged in any of the icon fights, but this time around, honestly, I think the fact that they gave me my heels back was a kind of an issue but i'm i'm i definitely would have been screwed without him uh but it forced you to just get used to all the patterns and actually dodge which i didn't do and it made you learn which combos are most effective that was a tight dps check like really tight like omega didn't even feel that tight of a dps check but that one oh great great job also I'm sure a lot of whoever plays this on Final Fantasy mode. I hope I hope that they feel rewarded and not insulted because <laughs> uh, I can see it being uh, annoyingly challenging, like unbalanced to some people. But I think that was fine. Uh, whew, that was tough. Power of the Icon Leviathan made manifest. This pristine shard of crystal is wet to the touch. Can be and heard to emit a soft hum when I was at the ear. Are these, are these just both for the weapon? Probably. Oh. Damn, that was just good. Not like... Not like Bahamut's kind of like amazing spectacle kind of good, but... Poor gameplay good. You're unfrozen. Ago. 
Clive, I... I don't know how to thank you. It's all right. We should find him a dry blanket, though. Wouldn't want the little monster catching a cold. <laughs> what a way to do the DLC. Rainbow. Is that is that the end of it? Are you gonna actually have a okay, good. They're just gonna be like, alright, back to the hideaway. <laughs> There. He's finally asleep. The poor thing had a long day. Uh, that makes two of us. So, what happens now? Now? Now, we make things right. How? by providing Walias what he was denied. A place to learn and grow. A family to love and protect him. So that one day, when the wounds in his heart and mind have finally healed, he might decide for himself how he'd like to live the rest of his life. But until then, I'll stay by his side, come what may. Then he's a lucky boy. And not only because he'll have the best warrior this side of the belt to teach him the battle axe. Hm. She'll do her best. Shula. The beast that threatened your home is tamed. The empire that threatened your people toppled. Might it not be time to cast off your ancestors' glamour and retake your place in the twins? Perhaps. It's not as if we have the crystals to maintain the wall much longer. But are we truly safe? Is the world truly ready to accept us for who we are and what we believe? If I remember rightly, you and yours still choose to remain hidden, do you not? We do. Well, yeah. your people will always be welcome in Haven, regardless. As will yours in the hideaway. We're allies now. If there's anything you need from us, supplies, food, equipment, do not hesitate to ask. It's kind of you to offer. But we'll manage, just as we always have. Besides, I suspect you'll be needing everything at your disposal if you're going to save the world. I fear much of it is past saving. <laughs> the best we can do is strive to turn what's left into a world where we can all live as equals. A noble endeavor. And there'll be a place in this world for us, will there? For Walias. For everyone. I swear it. Then we shall be waiting. Until the tides bear you back to shore. Oh, don't, don't put it that way. No. <laughs> we'll be waiting until you wash ashore. <clears throat> it's done. <laughs> that was. It's, it wasn't as long as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I, I heard that it was gonna be about ten hours, but that was only like uh, six or seven, maybe. Uh, and I was on the hardest difficulty, but I guess there might be extra stuff to do. I guess technically I could go like do the the challenge version of the whatever you call it challenge, the Leviathan challenge. Oh wait, we had a Haven signboard.
I mean, I know what I was going to say, obviously. It's, <laughs> we're always a friend. Always welcome here. Do you think he'll be all right? Well, yes. Only time will tell. But I can certainly think of worse places to spend one's childhood. The moats of water are a fine people, and they will take good care of him. Up by the Vare, Ultima spoke to me. He did. He called Leviathan his most profane fragment, and told me to redeem the sins that had laid him low. Is that so? The sins of Walius's ancestors were grave indeed. To force him to prime at so tender an age. And to freeze him in time. That he might never know what it was to live. Yet I doubt either of those crimes was the source of Ultima's displeasure. It was that the Icon's power had been put to another purpose than the one he intended. Maybe. To him, Leviathan must have seemed an aberration. Could that be why Ultima made no attempt to lead me to him? The fear that this profane fragment might corrupt his vessel somehow? Perhaps. Or perhaps he simply deemed Leviathan surplus to requirements. Having concluded that his vessel might be made to serve his purposes without the full sum of his power. His purposes? There's no escaping them. Even here. Hidden away in Mesidia, the blessing of the crystals proved nothing but a prison. A prison into which Walius was born. And from which freedom is hard won. If the world doesn't change. If we don't change it. He'll end up suffering the same fate as every dominant who came before him. Then we must change it. That we must. And we shall. Wouldn't it be cool if this changed the ending? <clears throat> oh. A sinister light bleeds into the from the art. What? What new challenges await him within an Ultima's virtual proving grounds? Well, I have to see what that is. Tame the tides. How many do I have left? Wow, that's a surprising amount. What the hell have I not done? <laughs> oh, oh, there are three new quests. Oh, four, four new quests. Okay. Uh, even though we finished. Oh, oh yeah. This, these areas haven't even been accessible. I bet there's some uh, interesting bosses here. Oh no, it's doing the thing where. It, Zooms on its own. I bet there's some interesting bosses here and stuff, but let's check out... Well, first, let's check out the signboard that I just skipped. The Emblem of Haven, Hidden Village of the Moats. Their symbol is a marriage of Icon Leviathan and the Ceaseless Rill. The endless circle of life that all must walk. Okay. Uh, definitely, I'm going to do another episode for these side quests for sure. But... What are you? Also, I'm curious if anything else has changed. Oh, you have a new recipe, huh? Oh, yeah, the Leviathan question mark. Certainly doing something. All right, hold on. So, what would it be? Actually, don't know what it be. Um. Oh, opportunity. Oh my God, it's actually better. The ultimate weapon, the tide strike reforged, flawless water shard, and a missing uh, something else. Damn, 750. An extra 50 damage. Doesn't look like it can be reforged after that. Well, I guess that's my next goal. It doesn't use a mega weapon. That's a surprise. Anything else? All right. What is going on here?
Where the hell is this? What is this? Muthos. You plumbed the very abyss, yet still you hunger. <laughs> we are impressed. Is that so? Not again. to be your vessel <sighs> it's got like everything in it what the what is what is that odin horns shiva wings electric on it for ramu Ultimate power. Clive has been... I had no idea this was going to be a thing. This is a thing? This was not in the tra the, the, any of the trailer information. Attuning with Ultima not only neutralizes the elemental aspect of his magic spells. Neutralizes. But also access to several new divine abilities such as Voice of God, a punishing attack that... This sends a concentrated beam of light from the heavens to scorch the very earth. Oh, shit. Ascension allows him to levitate from the ground, transforming normal attacks into sweeping assault capable of striking multiple enemies at once. It also enhances his normal ranged spell into a five-fold volley of holy arrows. In addition, press X allows Clive to rise up even further in the air. What? What? They're only available during this battle? Why? Do you hear me? Oh, I only his available. Okay, never mind, never mind. Not, yeah. not only available, but they're available only. Okay, so this is the Kairos yeah. thing that was uh, on the main menu. Ah, so I can charge and... Oh, interesting. What does this do? Oh. I don't know. Go in and then... I have jump available. I have this. Oh, <laughs> I know that move. Oh, my God. Oh, I got hit. Oh, so I can charge while I'm attacking and then just let go. Oh, that's... Alright, then... 
Okay, that counter doesn't really do anything. Let me try it one more time. Oh, I didn't hit it in time, I don't think. Magic counter. One more time. That's your magic. Well, not counter, but. Damn. This is like a Clive thing. Or a. Clive. Devil May Clive thing. Wait a minute, what is that? So when I when I dash, a, my X button becomes something. Oh. Wait. Oh, I can just stay up higher in the air. So what if I rise and then I hit the button? Nothing. Nothing. Sorry, I'm just. Experimenting. <laughs> Deuce X. Channel the heavens. I would have loved to have this for a new game plus. God damn. It's a little late to give it to me now, though. Is there anything to fight? Guess you could do this before Omega. Yeah. Who ever rail against our gifts? Remain all too eager to avail yourself of them. Perhaps you require more time to reflect. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I was wondering about this the whole time, like, in the in the main thing, or when it was like, alright, you've had access to the rising tide, it said Kyroskate, and I'm like, what the hell does that mean? Like, is that the more more training thingies? Apparently it is. Uh, it's a challenging end, end game battle content in which Clive must delve into the very circles of hell to tackle wave after wave of familiar. Oh no, it's bloody palace! Restrictions on level, gear, and consumables are applied. Game mode is defaulted to action folk. Oh! Oh, it's... It overrides Final Fantasy difficulty. <laughs> what? EP and BP. Simply put, Kairos is a journey through 20 circles of exist existential torment. Upon completing a circle, Clive will earn EP enhancement points and BP boon points. Oh my god. This can be used to purchase permanent and temporary boosts to abilities and attributes. Clearing a circle will reward Clive with rare items such as accessories, weapons, and crafting materials. While the aforementioned boosts are only available or active while in Kairos, all item rewards can be taken back to Valestia. This is an arcade mode. Performance is tallied, with points being awarded for using stuff, executing abilities, etc. Also, each circle has a time limit, and battle performance performance is only recorded before it expires. Oh god. While Kairos is, places restrictions on level gear and consumables, there's no restriction to iconic ability usage. Uh, okay, I can respect between circles. It's during these post-circle intervals that Clive can also use EP and BP earned during circles to purchase permanent enhancements. Okay. <sighs> and does the EP, BP... They say permanent. Oh, we'll see. Our high scores for that are uploaded to the leaderboard. That's fine. I don't care about leaderboards. So there are 20 circles. And there are apparently, uh, by the looks of it, cutscenes in this. 
I wonder if there are any unique enemies. <sighs> I think I have to do it. I have to. I mean, n not now, but next episode. I'm going to do the side quest in the next episode and maybe get a look at this and then we'll just really finish it up in the following that. Uh, it does sound really fun. And if I have Ultima's abilities? Oh my god. Ooh. Oh. God, it like wraps around the... Right. Oh, I love this. That looks really cool. <laughs> Channel the power of Ultima and be freed of all earthly bonds, transforming basics into powerful divine equivalents. You can combo four times. This attack can't be blocked. Awesome. Press it after a dodge to execute Reap. Directs a concentrated magic burst. Yep. Yeah. And then the, the powerful beam. I think we saw everything. I tried everything. Uh, I did not try to... Oh. I, I want... Uh, the the ruination thing. I wonder if you dodge while you're charging that. If it causes like a new move to happen. Uh, we tried lunge, and I did X to lift off the ground. Yeah, we tried everything on this. Uh, I do have to see the rest of your moves, though. Voice of God. I'm not blocking it. Okay. What? <laughs> oh, God, it's still going. What is it? What is going on with this? That lasts a long time. Several seconds are required to summon the ray. You'll call forth a powerful ray from the heavens. And I'm assuming you're invulnerable during this whole time. Clive's movement speed will be reduced. Damage can be taken during the summoning. Temporarily launch in the air upon summoning the ray, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Interesting. It can inflict multiple hits on smaller targets. The, the path can be manipulated. Does not affect the limit break gauge. Oh. Okay. Upgrading increases the damage. Well, I'm upgrading that. I'm definitely using that. This we tried. It looked like it just lifted things. Like, this is like, uh... Heat wave? No. Rising flame. It's literally rising flames, but Ultima's version. In an AoE. Launch small enemies draws large enemies towards Clive. Oh, draws launched enemies towards Clive. Uh, recovery time is faster than most abilities, allowing for immediate follow-up strikes. Really? That's a lot of stagger, too. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this is a unexpected delight. I... I was happy with Leviathan, but I was like, 20 bucks for the whole Leviathan thing? Maybe that's like a third of the game, you know? Into uh, price wise. But if you add this and a whole b bloody palace, yeah. Okay, we've seen that one, Dominion. Powerful shockwave immediately raise eight spectral spikes. Okay, upgrading to increase the number of spikes. Okay, what does this do? Oh, damn. It's I think it's literally Ultima. <laughs> the move. Sees and draws in smaller enemies within a large radius before finally triggering a magic eruption, dealing multiple hits to all seized enemies. Damn. I love that they actually show the cooldown now. That was not there before. So you couldn't calculate, like, what is 16 seconds off of that, you know? Increased hits. Okay, well. Bam, and upgrade it. I guess we'll upgrade you too. What do you do when you're mastered? Rise duration. Eh. Oh god, I- oh no, I have to get to 110 to max these out. 
It's fine. I know them all, and I'm actually just going to use Ultima for sure. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna change some things. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a a little bit between episodes and see if I can get a handle on it. See see if I can come up with like a new set and stuff, and then and then we'll do that. Hmm. I'm just. That threw me for a loop. I was, like, expecting to be done. Like, okay, we'll just do a few side quests and be done. But, like, uh, there's there's something new. I also, part of me wants to beat the game again just to see if, like, anything changed now that we've released the dominant, also a mega weapon instead. I don't know if anything would change, but it'd be interesting if they added anything at the end due to those things. But I'm going to leave this one here. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.